The Lamb and the Wolf Once upon a time, there was a naughty lamb who would, every day, get into some or the other trouble. Oh my, I am all muddy and smelly. Mommy will not like this at all. Just then, the mother comes there and looks at the baby lamb angrily. You never listen to me, do you? I told you not to jump from such a height. But I also told you it's fun. You also never listen to me, Mom. The mother lamb couldn't help but laugh at her child and embrace him. <laughs> Come on now, let's get you cleaned. His mother always loved her child so much that she worried about the safety of the child. His mother always warned him. Be careful. You must not go into the forest. Wild animals live in there. They may threaten you. Sometimes they would eat you. Oh, Mom, you worry a lot. But the mischievous lamb never listened. The lamb casually went into the forest and played there for a long time till it turned dark in the evening. One day, as usual, the lamb wandered far off into the forest. There, he saw a spring. Ah, a spring! What timing! I was getting thirsty. So he decided to take water from the spring to quench his thirst. While the lamb was drinking water in the spring, a wolf watched from behind a tree. Ah, juicy yummy lamb. Today is my lucky day. <laughs> so with his evil thoughts, the wolf started approaching the lamb. The lamb was not aware of the wolf at all as he kept drinking the water. And there was no one besides these two animals to save the lamb from the wolf. You know this forest belongs only to wild animals like me. Why have you come in here to take water from this spring? The lamb was startled as he saw the wolf in front of him. He knew that wolves were dangerous animals. Mother has warned me about wolves. I am sure this fellow wants to eat me for his lunch. This fellow is ferocious. I must escape from this animal as soon as I can. Oh, my apologies, oh mighty wolf, for I'm just a baby lamb who knows nothing. You are also dirtying the water. How will I drink this polluted water now? My apologies again. But you shall not stay thirsty, mighty wolf. The water on your side is clean. Huh? Because the spring flows from where you are standing down to where I am standing, sir. The wolf was surprised to hear such an intelligent answer from the lamb. But the wolf was just looking for an excuse to kill the lamb. How dare you argue with me? I think you are the same lamb who had abused me last year. Last year? But sir, I was not even bored then. The lamb feared that the wolf was looking after a pretext to kill the lamb. The lamb became cautious of its words and gestures. This way, both the lamb and the wolf talked to each other cautiously. The lamb heard some woodcutters. They were coming the way in which the lamb and the wolf were standing. The lamb was clever. He thought to himself, If I can keep talking to this wolf for a little while longer, the woodcutters will be here. They will chase him away. Mr. Wolf, you are right. I have dirtied the water, but I did not mean to upset you. But you have already upset me. Oh, let me compensate you by telling you a story. Story? Ugh, what a waste of time. But I need to listen to him and slowly approach him, for I have no strength and will to chase this little lamb. Once upon a time. This way, 
The lamb kept on talking for a few more minutes. As the lamb spoke, the woodcutters arrived. They saw both the lamb and the wolf. Ah, look there, a wolf. Oh, uh, they're such a nuisance. And they caught the wolf and beat him before letting him go. The lamb was relieved to be safe. Oh, I had a narrow escape today. He ran back to his mother. He told his mother what had happened in the forest with the wolf and the woodcutters. And then he promised his mother never to wander into the forest again. And mother was relieved that the lamb learnt his lesson. Oh yes, now I know, mother. I must not go to strange places alone, especially where stronger and ferocious animals are waiting to kill me. The Wolf and the Seven Kids Once upon a time, near the dusky forest, a mother goat lived in a pretty little house with her seven kids. Once there was a fight competition between the goats. The goats from the dusky forest came to compete. The Grand Bully had again won the ring. Grand Bully! Grand Bully! Grand Bully! Is there anybody who will challenge the Grand Bully? And here comes the challenger, the Bighorn Lady, the Great Martha! <laughs> Touch hands. One, two, three, fight! Both goats started to give pushes with full force. The grand bully was overriding on the mother goat. She was about to fall out of the ring. Come on, mother, come on. Now show him the mother's power. After her child's encouragement, the mother pushed the big goat in one go and threw him out of the ring. And Martha won the fight! Martha, Martha, Martha! All the kids gathered around the mother and hugged her. Mother, you showed him! Hooray! A cunning wolf, hidden in the crowd, was watching them. So many kids, so much food. <laughs> Let's go, kids. I have to go to the market to buy groceries. Mother left the place with the kids. The wolf decided to follow them and see where the family lives. While walking, Mother had a doubt and she turned around, but no one was there. Then she saw the wolf's footprint. Hmm. This cunning wolf. One day I'm going to teach him a lesson. As they reached the home, mother had to leave home and do the shopping. I'm going out for shopping now. You mustn't open the door to anyone. Don't forget, there's a wicked wolf lurking around here. It's black with horrible paws and a nasty, deep voice. If anyone knocks, keep the door tightly mm. shut. Bye. Take care. Bye, Bye Mama. Mama. Mother Goat went to the market, and the wolf saw her from behind the tree. Don't worry, Goat Mother. You go to the market. I will eat my dream food safely without hurting your kids. Direct to my stomach. <laughs> then, trying not to look too conspicuous, the wolf hurried along to the goat's house. There, he threw off his disguise. Open the door. I am back, children. The goat kids looked at each other, but they did not open the door. Open the door! It's Mother! I've just come back from the market! Open the door! When the 
kids heard the deep voice, they remembered their mother's warning. We know who you are. You're the wolf. Our mother has a sweet and gentle voice, not a deep, nasty one like yours. So go away. We'll never open the door to you. The wolf banged furiously on the door. The kids, though trembling with terror, refused to let him into the house. Then the wolf had a brainwave. He dashed off to the bakery and got a big cake dripping with honey. He hoped this would sweeten his voice. Ah, now I can talk like Mother Goat. Over and over again, he practiced imitating Mother Goat's I'm voice. Back. Kids, I'm back. Then he rushed back to the house and the seven kids and knocked on the door. Open the door. Just now I saw that idiot wolf eating one fish at the river. The goat kids looked at each other, but they did not open the door. Hurry up, open the door. This time the kids had doubts. The voice did rather sound like mothers and they were about to unlock the door when the second eldest kid saw something strange from the door slot. Wait, you're not our mother. She doesn't have horrid black paws. Go away, you wicked wolf. And once more, in spite of all his hard work, the wolf found the door locked against him. Now the wolf tries to enter the home through the window, which is at a distance from the ground. The wolf slowly, slowly arranges bricks to get into the house. Finally, he reaches the window and pushes himself into the window. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you mad children of an idiot goat! Now I will kill you one by one. Hey, you mad wolf! You think you're too brilliant? But now see what happens. The kids started throwing <laughs> utensils at the wolf. <laughs> the wolf got a big sore on his head and he slipped down. The wolf's mind totally blocked as he failed in every attempt. So he took a big tree trunk and started to bang on the door. This time I am a wolf, not your mother. Go away from here. Now I will break down the door and your life will be finished. <laughs> All the kids came together and stuck to the door. After four or five attempts, the wood got broken, but the door remained as before. After some deep thinking, the wolf ran down to the mill and found a sack of flour. He thrust his paws into it until they were pure white. Again, the wolf rushed back to the goat house and knocked on the door. Kids, open the door! This time, the goat kids looked at each other but they did not open the door. Oh, you think I'm uh, that wolf? <laughs> I'm your mother and have brought a special gift from the market. Come on, kids, open the door. The voice seemed exactly like the mother's. So the smallest kid peeped through the door slot. Her foot is white. It's our mother. Open the door. The kids, now reassured, threw open the door. And what a shock they received. An enormous set of jaws with sharp fangs growled fiercely. Now you all will be in my stomach soon. Don't cry my tasty food. The kids scattered in terror. One dove under the table while another clawed below the bed. Another kid hid in the cupboard. One tried to hide in the oven. One kid crouched inside a barrel, and the smallest one hid in the grandfather's clock. <laughs> you want to play hide and seek before I swallow you? <laughs> one by one, the wolf pulled the kids from their hiding places. The wicked wolf swallowed each one in a single gulp. The only one to escape was the little black kid. For the wolf never imagined that there was room for a kid inside the very narrow grandfather clock. Ugh. What a wonderful meal it was! Fresh lambs! 
The wolf left the house immediately as mother was about to come back. Soon mother goat came back from the market. From a distance, she noticed that the door was ajar. She rushed towards home. What she feared had already happened. The crockery was broken. Clothes were torn. All the house was messed up and there was no sign of the kids. Mother dropped herself into a chair, sobbing bitterly. As she cried, the door of the grandfather clock swung open and out ran the black kid. Mommy, mommy. Mother took her small kid on her lap and she cried. Oh my God, what happened? Where are the rest of your siblings? It was terrible. The wolf came and he ate up all my brothers and sisters. But I told you all not to open the door and to confirm if it was the wolf or not. The kid narrated the whole story and explained to her about the wolf's bad tricks. Don't cry, my dear. Wolf, you cheated my innocent children. Now I will finish the story of this bad wolf. Come on, let's search him down. The mother left the house to find the wolf. The mother goat heard a low wheezing sound. Someone was snoring heavily. It was the greedy wolf. His feast of kids had been too much for him and he was fast asleep, dead to the world. In a flash, the mother goat had an idea. Mother goat fetched a needle and thread and a pair of scissors. With these, she swiftly slit open the wolf's stomach. As she had hoped, the ravenous brute had swallowed every kid whole. The small kids were jumping for joy after they saw the other siblings. Hey you, please stay quiet, otherwise you'll wake up the wolf. One by one, Mommy, out they popped from the wolf's Mommy, tummy. Mommy. Hurry, hurry, not a sound. We must get away before he wakens. Finally, all the kids came out safely. Okay, I will sew this now. Wait, fetch me a heap of stones. And so they filled the wolf's stomach with stones and stitched it up again. The wolf woke later with a raging thirst. He saw his heavy stomach. Ugh! These kids are taking some time to digest. I feel thirsty now. The wolf walked towards the river. It was too heavy for him to lift his feet. What a heavy tummy I have! Ugh! I feel so thirsty. But when he went near the river to drink water, his tummy tipped him over and he fell into the water. The mother goat and kids arrived at the water. Wolf was trying to swim, but with the stones in his stomach, he sank down and down. All the kids and the mother were laughing at him. The wicked wolf was dead and the kids trotted home happily with mother.